so that we can focus ourselves around this thought. And so Tuesday night at our business meeting, we're going to suggest, as a recommendation coming to you, that we alter our mission statement so that we build on it, not leaving behind previous thought, but building on previous thought, and saying this, that we exist to make disciples of Jesus. Notice two things, both in red, that we make disciples of who? Jesus. It's all about Jesus, isn't it? Amen. It's all about his mission, isn't it? Amen. Jesus says, make disciples. And so we're doing the mission, and we're doing it to bring them to who? To Jesus. It's about Jesus, it's about the mission. And that secondly, that we mature disciples in Jesus. Does the Bible teach us that, that we have a responsibility to go deeper? Yes. And so we want to, as part of our church foundation, and what we're about, we want to be able to intentionally follow the call of Jesus and take people into a mature and deeper relationship. I believe no matter where you are in your connection with Christ, there is room for growth. Do you believe that? Amen. Amen. And so we want to create mechanisms that say wherever you are in your journey, we want to help you take that next step. And we want to develop ministries that help people to move to ever deeper levels of connection to Jesus Christ. And then finally, we want to move disciples into ministry for Jesus. Notice it's made disciples of Jesus, mature disciples in Jesus, and move disciples into ministry for Jesus. Is Jesus the center? It's all about him. Did Jesus tell us to make disciples? You better believe it. Does the Bible tell us that we need to teach them to observe all things and to, that we would be full grown and mature? It absolutely does. Does God call us to do something for him? Absolutely. Now, I want to call. Think about this. Can you imagine the church? 